Hey, John. Hey, Greg. How are you, man? I'm good. It's Labor Day. Happy Labor Day, brother. Happy Labor Day. Open up a cold one. Yeah. Yeah. Got a, got a little, we wanted to celebrate Labor Day. I don't have much time, but we're going to do it, and I'm going to do it right with a local hummingbird beer. Yes. A quickie. A quickie. And so, did you work today? I did. It was a, it was a short day. Mm -hmm. A very, very successful day. Mm -hmm. Our store had an exceptionally busy day. Uh-huh. And uh, it was it was fantastic. So you had good sales? Great sales. Opener? Absolutely. Here you go, sir. I'm going to drink this uh, without, without a glass. There you go. Good good German Hefeweizen in there. Do you, know, do you know what you call it when you drink a beer without a glass? Uh, where? Here? Germany? Or what do you call it in English? In English? Yeah. Uh, bottled beer. Bear back. I never heard that. I'm just not not, I'm just, I'm just not in relation it. not in relationship to I'm a just, beer. I'm just, That's more of a sexual term I'm I've heard. I'm making it up. I'm just right. making it up as I go, man. I'm going for the ratings here, man. Yeah, well, right. We need those. Hey, we had a new subscriber. We got we got uh, 34 subscribers now. Really? That airline pilot I was telling you about. Mm. He thought it was cool. He subscribed. Speaking of airline pilots, mm -hmm. you hear what happened yesterday in. Um, in Mississippi, I heard there was some an, an accident of some sort. Is that uh, what that was Mississippi or? Yeah, a lineman, guy who fuels planes, moves planes around, uh -huh. an FBO, a lineman stole a small Beechcraft twin engine. Piston. Should have paid more attention to my pouring technique. It's a good pour. It's a good pour. <laughs> so there's lot. So there's lineman, the guy who fuels uh -huh. planes, you know, right. moves them around. His lineman steals a B90, which is like a small. Uh, King Air. Okay. Okay. Wow. Twin engine. Doesn't have a license, but he flies it. Uh-huh. And he's flying in circles in Mississippi. Okay. Right? right. Tu Tupelo or something like this. Mississippi. Tupelo, Mississippi. Right. It's, it's, it's where Elvis Tupelo? is from. Okay. He's yeah. flying in circles, and he contacts Tower. He's like, I'm going to crash this into Walmart. So they they chill him out. Uh-huh. Talk him down. They chill him out. Then they get a pilot on online, and they explain to him how to land it. Uh huh. Okay. And, and he lands in a field, perfectly good. Good field landing. He gets out, hands up, and they arrest him. Okay. All right. So that one turned out okay. There was an accident somewhere. There was. They've stopped looking for the people. There's always accidents. Yes. But there's a point to my story. Yeah. What? And that's. I think John he did it to distract the people. From Jackson, Mississippi, from their water problems. Well, they got some serious water problems. They got some serious water problems. There's a nutty that's going on there. Prost. Prost. So I have a I have a German phrase for you. Appropriate since you're just back from Germany. Check it out. Fünf Minuten vor der Zeit ist das deutsches Pünktlichkeit. It rhymes. Yes. Fünf Minuten. You know what that means? I can't remember. Fünf, five, five minuten, five minutes. minutes. Mm -hmm. For their sight, before the time. Before the time. Is das Deutschen Punktlichkeit? German. Is German pun punctuality. Punctuality. So five minutes before your time is German punctuality. So yes. always be early. Yes. That I wouldn't fit in in Germany. Yes. I prop. Well, I have to. <laughs> But yes, that is their. I'm is, usually five minutes late. That's their saying. <laughs> and the opposite. Yeah, that's that's okay. But if you went to Germany, they they straighten you out quickly. I just leave because because they'd be like, you like shit. Unless it was a job I had to have, I just leave. Right. <laughs> you're you're more Spanish. <laughs> Latin. Right. Right. Yeah. More. I don't more do Latin. but I don't do siestas and stuff. Right. Um, right. So um. So anyway, so tell me about the origins of Labor Day. Okay, so it is something we all celebrate, and, and many people have it as a day off, but it was originally uh, created to celebrate the labor movement in America in the late 18th century, um, where there were you super rich. This is sort of where we ended up with the... the Antitrust laws too. So many, so few people with so much power, 
and the workers were taken advantage of. So you started started the movement of unionization and union labor and so forth, uh-huh. and and um, enough of these uh, organizations decided let's celebrate the worker, and so they started parades. Mm-hmm. The state of Oregon, I believe, was the first to adopt it as an actual holiday. I believe 1894 or something like that, um, it became official holiday. So it's the first Monday of September. And it's the day for the workers. Day to celebrate the workers. So they get a day off. Yes. If you're a laborer, you got the day off. I mean, I work retail, so I don't. You're in the restaurant business. That That's different. That, that, was, that was me. That's probably my appointment, which is why we have to have a short trip here. Let me... Turn that off. Is that one of your girlfriends waiting for you? It is actually not in this case, but okay. But typically it is. Typically it might be. Typically it is. Okay, so Labor Day is for the laborer. They get right. one day off is to celebrate yeah. the labor. It's like like we have labor. Memorial Day Memorial Day um, to celebrate the the warriors that have helped keep this country safe. This is the laborers that helped build the Isn't country. Isn't that Veterans Day? Memorial Day is is what that. Oh, that's the same yeah. as Memorial Day. Veterans, Veterans Day? Day. I think they are now pretty much merged. The official holiday, they call it Memorial Day. So it's not Veterans Day. Veterans Day is different. Yeah, I'm not sure. So it's a different day. I, I believe so. Um, if you want me to try to Google it, I, well, we don't have enough time for that. Do your own <laughs> research. Okay. So Anyways. okay. So then. Okay. So um. So I'm good with spontaneity, so, but I don't, so, I, don't so know, I don't know the difference on Veterans Day. I think that's a different day. Okay, okay. So, so then that was uh, that was Labor Day, right? Mm-hmm. So Memorial Day, or the, or the celebrating the lives of the people yeah, that lost pause. their lives. Yeah, pause there. Sorry. Mm-hmm. All right. So, I found a new word on the internet. Okay, interesting. There's a, a lot word. of there's a lot of words out there. A lot of words, but I found a new word. There's actually whole dictionaries now of words that aren't words and like that Marian non words. Yes, non words, and the dictionaries have to pick them up. They have to, is or they're, like or they're the irrelevant. Urban dictionary? Is that like well, the like urban the urban dictionary? dictionary is now part of like Marian Webster and all that stuff. Yeah. So if it's used enough, it becomes a legit word. Right. So here, so here's my new word. What is it? And I like it. Super friend. So is that one or two words? Might be a compound word. Okay. I don't know. If Super it's friend. Word. Actually, actually. I, I would think it would be two words. It's two words. Well, when I looked it up again, uh-huh. I did super space slant uh, friend and it came up. Super friend. Okay. So it's actually two words. All right. Okay. So super friend, according to the Atlantic, is a friend. Well, they say it's a friend that can go anywhere, do anything, meet anybody, and be this ultra cool guy or girl, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. But in the next paragraph, it says a super friend is a person who, like you and I, we mm-hmm. can hang out for two months together and go six months without talking. Yeah. And then, boom. Right back. Same thing. Like like nothing missed. I got friends from childhood are like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's called a super friend. Okay. Which I like that. I always thought I always thought that was like a best friend, or something like that. I think like best friend. Okay, so for me, is best a singular thing? Because I have see, a hard time defining see, a, a see, best. To me, best friend is more like like singular, and it's more like high school or grade school style. Okay. Super friend is like I've got some super friends. You have like a few a of the, you have a few of them that I know. Right, of, right. Because I can call you a best friend, mm-hmm. but can you call three or four people a best friend? I me, think it's maybe singular. that situation. Well, that's what I was asking. Best implies it is singular, like the best. Right. So then, so then, is it? Are we better off saying super friend? Well, super friend is more. Uh, yeah, it's more of an open thing. You're right. It's a good point. Right. I mean, I'd get more mature. Right. Best friend you, kind of sounds like you're in ninth grade. It's kind of cor- corny, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't right. want to say corny. I don't want to say corny, but mm-hmm. it it doesn't it it sounds superficial kind of. Yeah, hard. It's right? it's also really hard to define. Right, but if you say a super friend, oh, oh, he's a super friend, then that's just not limiting yourself to one dude or one girl. I think we're inspired by this poster you have over here, Superman. 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 Superman, Superman friend. turns. 
Yeah, there you go. You know that love story? Superman Returns? Yes. A yeah. lot of people yeah, think yeah, it's yeah. an action movie. It was that actually lo- a love story. I think all Superman is sort of a love story. I mean, Lo- Lois Lane and Clark Kent. But but it's not, but, not but, a love but affair. Love story and okay, so you're talking about Superman from 1977, 78. Just any Superman. With, with, Lois with Lane. If, if Lois Lane and Clark Kent are in it, it's a love right. affair. So then, so then, what's story? This? If you look at all the Superman, uh-huh. okay, to me they were action movies with a little bit of love in there. For sure. With, with some love in there. Oh, for sure. But Superman Returns, the poster I have, mm-hmm. to me it was like, it was more about love and there was some action in there. Interesting, because I actually can't remember the movie if I've seen it. The director is Brian Singer, S-Y-N-G-E-R. Oh, I, I remember the name, but I can't, I'm it's saying a, it. it's, it's, a, it's one of my favorites. Yeah? I don't really have a distinct memory of it, of it by its name. I'll tell you a line. Tell you a line. So there was a guy, Lois Lane's husband, mm-hmm. because this Superman was gone for a long time. He went to Kryptonite to, to Krypton uh-huh. to see what the state of it was, and it was blown up. It was destroyed. So he came back. Okay, I did see that then. And so it took him like right, twenty right, years. Right. I did see 10 that. Years to yeah, come back, yeah, and right? he's a lot younger. Right. So, so, yeah. so he comes back. Yeah. And Lois Lane got married to a guy named Richard. Yep. Yeah. Who's a pilot? I, I did see that. That he's was very good. Plane. He has a mm-hmm. footprint. Yep. He's a pilot. Yep. And they have a son. Mm-hmm. Okay. However, they find out the son is not his son, not Richard's son. It's actually Superman's, Superman's son. son. Because the son lifted up something very heavy, a, a, a piano, mm-hmm. one time off his mom. And I'm like, oh, this is this isn't Richard's son. Right. Right. So anyway, here's a line I wanted to tell you. Okay. Um, Superman went to go. No, Richard and Lois Lane went to go save Superman with his float plane, and and um, and then subsequently, Superman goes to visit Lois Lane on the rooftop, and so he grabs her. She puts her feet on his feet, and he and and and, and he's almost ready to to take her to take her for a ride, right? Mm-hmm. And so. So Superman says, uh, no, Lois Lane says, um, Lois Lane says um, to Superman, Richard takes me up all the time. And Superman says, not like this. (laughs) And they just kind of go up like this and elevate and then Uh then they go across the city. Mm-hmm. It was really beautiful. Right. It, it, it was I, really beautiful. I did see that, but I, I didn't see it in the theater, so I don't have as good a memory of that, but I was yes. I did see that. But that's... Anyways. But, but that's my thing about Superman. Super friend. Yeah. Yes. I, I like it. Out. It's a good thing. Break one night for radio check. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, I have some German jokes for you. Okay. Okay. Cool. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay, so... What does a German fiance get on her wedding night that is long and hard? To, to choke. So. Yeah, so what does a German woman get on her wedding night that is long and hard? Other than the obvious thing that he would be hoping for, uh, uh, that would be Swiss to be a Toblerone bar. <laughs> chocolate bar. Are you are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. Are you I ready? I have I have no idea. A new last name. <laughs> a new last name, okay. Yes. Long and yeah. hard. <laughs> yes. Here's a second second joke. <laughs> second joke and then I'm gonna be done, okay? All right. Why do they bury Germans twenty feet under the ground? Why do they bury Germans yes, twenty why? feet under the ground? Why? As opposed to 10 or 15, I have no idea. Because, because way deep, they're really nice. <laughs> they do seem a little rough around the edges. Deep down, they're really nice. <laughs> Very good. That's good. All right, so those are my two jokes. Those are ger- German jokes shared yeah. by Germans to you. No, I actually you found made, them on the internet. You did? Okay. Because yeah. yeah. your German friends are pretty cool. So I've got the outro music. Uh-huh. I think I should give you a pop question. 
Because I didn't give you one last time. Okay. Go for it. Okay. I'll do my best, which is usually not very good. That's okay. <laughs> so, if you had a choice between... If you had a choice between... And it's not Tesla. Right. Okay. It's okay. not Tesla. Tesla's is not the option. Okay. You gotta make a decision. Okay. Between a classic car, pre-1970, and then a car that is new, fuel-driven, that's not a Tesla. Corvette. The new Corvette. New Corvette. New Corvette's badass. I take one of those hard to buy the money. They're badass. They're okay. badass. That mid-engine Corvette. Oh, that car's amazing. What color? That's a little harder. I've seen. Red, 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 yeah, red. I was gonna say it'd be probably red. Probably red or yellow, maybe. But probably yeah. red. Probably red. Yeah. Yeah, I take that in a heartbeat. All right, man. Yes. Well, do you have a pop question for me? Uh, no, I don't. Uh. I would take a 1969. Four twenty-eight Cobra Jack. Same, same question. Yeah, I'll take a nineteen sixty-nine four twenty-eight Cobra Jack. But you are definitely more into the classics than me. I'm always moving forward. Yes, that's what I was doing. I am a true progressive in the sense I'm always moving forward. Yes. yes. You are a true conservative in the sense yes. that you appreciate yes. the history and such. Yes. So very quick. Yes. What's going to happen with the new Cadillac lyric? car? The lyric. What's going to happen? It's going to be a good car. They're shipping a few. They're sort of in test production now. You can is, order them. Is it going to be as strong as Tesla? The car itself is going to be great. Tesla has the charging network and the software. Okay. It can be kind of like a good Android phone. You think it's that shitty? No, a good Android phone's a good phone. It just Android, doesn't have the software. Android second class. Uh, but, but some of the hardware, like, like, some, like a Samsung makes a great phone. It just is... It is held back by having the Android software. Right. So that's kind of where you're situated if you don't have a Tesla. Tesla well, is the Apple of car, electric cars. Well, shout out to my homeboys in Germany. All of them. All of them. Shout out to all of your homeboys everywhere else, right? That's right. All our super friends. And, um, yes, all of our super friends. And um, we will meet next time. Yeah. Thanks for the quick podcast. It we was, might do an out and about her, maybe. Yes. Maybe. Yes. Maybe do an out and about her. This yeah. one is a retro, right? If you look at our early ones, this is our yes. set yes. for our yes. early podcast. So yes. that's kind of cool. All right, so, I, I got to uh, roll on, brother. Okay. So cheers. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, Thank everybody. You very much. Cheers. Hope you had a wonderful Labor Day. Have a great Labor Day. Bye.